and welcome, guys, and sorry for any noises, but I've... Ah, sorry about the dog, too. Um, sorry about that, but I have actually created a island generator using three-dimensional Perlin noise and a bit of logic. And I think it looks pretty good, so let's uh, generate a few just to show it off. So... Oh. Oh, there it is. So, it'll generate here, and then, here's one island, this isn't a very good looking one, um, and let's generate a new one. It does make, see, it makes nice islands, they're giant too, so they could be used for a game, I'll show you the game view. We go into the game view, I set my speed to ridiculous amounts, so. This would be good for a survival game, you could really do it for like anything, this type of generation. Um. You can see- I'll explain how it works soon, and if you guys- how about- hmm, if I hit a thousand views, I will put source code in the description, so that anyone can use this, but I needed a- I need a little incentive, because, you know, I need views. Um, so other than that, yeah, it's random island generation, and you can really edit the code and stuff, because- I'll explain how I did this. So I started out using a tutorial for um a very nice tutorial from Cat Like Coding, which was on Perlin Noise Three Dimensional, and so I used that and I set it to what I liked. But the problem was with that, we all know that Perlin Noise is flat. So how am I supposed to get an island jutting up in the center and the rest being far low? For this, I used a special little bit of code where I got each of the vertices and I found their position uh, compared to the mesh and the vertices were multiplied by themselves so I squared them and then their the number gotten from that was subtracted from the y value I mean the y value had to subtracted whatever um, and what that did was, things that were further out were pushed down further, because it's squared. Like, 1 squared equals 1, okay, 2 squared equals 4, 3 squared equals 9, and then once we hit, like, 100 squared, you, you can see these giant, dramatic changes. But that causes it to jut up in the middle, and it looks very smooth. I can see this being used for a lot. So, yeah. I have explained how I made it, so a lot of people just show things up off and don't explain how they made it. That annoys me. I really don't like that. I mean, why show something off to the world if you're... It's kind of like bragging to me. But uh, yeah, here's another nice one. It's simple. But uh, thank you for watching. And I'm going to try to do some cool stuff with this. Goodbye.